folks, Mr. Salty here. Got the unit up and running in the bus. You see we're pulling about uh, 7 amps, 7, 8 amps. Got it hooked to the uh, ultrasonic unit. You can see it running here. Now I'm going to turn on the ultrasonics. Clears up. Look at that. The black hose is your vacuum line that takes it to the intake manifold. I've got the ultrasonic turned down as low as it'll go. So it's not drawing anywhere near 40 watts. I don't know what it's drawing, but um, it is running on 120 volt and I'm running an inverter for it. So it is 120 watt, or excuse me, 120 volt power inverter. Uh, that's capable of doing 100 watts, but this uh, ultrasonic using, unit uses a maximum of 40, and I've got it turned all the way down. The intensity is set to 1. I'll show you here. Um, there's your intensity setting right there. It's on a 1. Like I said, we're drawing about uh, 7 amps, 6 amps now on the actual cell itself. I'll turn the ultrasonics back off. And you can see your clogged right, right back up. Not clogged, I'm sorry, I get cloudy. Turn it back on. I'm gonna run it like this for a while. Um, I am seeing the usual fuel mileage increase on the highway, uh, 12%, and that's being slightly conservative. This unit seems to do a little different then the uh, the round cell, the tube cell that I had, I've actually put it on the on the shelf for a while, gotten back to this one because it wasn't uh, showing to be any more efficient than the plates. And so, if you were wondering about the tube cell, I've already put it on the uh, on the shelf. So, if I come up with some more ideas for it, or if someone's interested in buying it, shoot me an uh, email or something or a message, and uh, we can negotiate something. Anyway, I'm messing with these ultrasonics now for a while, and I'll get back to you when I get a mileage update. So, over and out for now.